City employees work hard. That's why we celebrated Public Service Recognition Week around the city. Hey, I'm Lucha Morales, and this is Houston Happenings. The Parks Department, along with Human Resources, Health, Library, the Office of Business Opportunity, and Public Works, compete against each other for another chance at bragging rights at this year's annual PSRW Kickball Showdown. I think the kickball tournament was an amazing experience. You got to work with a lot of different, or play with a lot of different other municipalities or other uh, departments that you don't ever get to see. Um, it was competitive, we had a lot of fun, and it was a great time. And I also think that it's a great opportunity. It's for team building, you know, for everyone to kind of get together, whether we're, we're all working the health department, but we're in different areas, so it's a great team building experience. Parks and HR went on to the final round with Parks beating HR 6-0. This marks the second year Parks has won the championship game. A big thank you to all the employees who came out and played. City employees with 30 or more years of service were honored at this year's Mayor Service Awards. Employees were treated to lunch and pictures with the mayor to celebrate. The Mayor Service Awards is a yearly tradition that has become a staple of the city's PSRW celebrations that honor city employees' hard work. Six city employees received Bravo Awards thanks to their service to the community. The Bravo Awards recognize city employees who spend time outside of work volunteering. The city employees who are not just outstanding at their jobs, they are exemplary, exemplary and even inspiring members of our community. This year's winners volunteered helping Harvey victims, local youth, the arts, women and children, and communities in need. We appreciate everything you do. We appreciate all of you so much. Local area high school seniors participated in the PSRW essay contest for a chance to earn up to $2,000 for college. Participants submitted essays about how they would strengthen the city if they were a city employee. They want leaders like, like you, you know, to stand up and say, hey, this is the right thing to do. And so I applaud you all today for being here, for taking a step to, to inquire about public service. Winners were recognized at a ceremony and awarded their scholarships sponsored by Sigma. The essay contest will reopen for submissions next January. Young artists ages 5 to 18 celebrated their creativity through the PSRW Poster Art Competition. The annual contest spotlights city jobs as the artists illustrate what job they would want to perform as a city employee. We're very happy that, that, uh, that you are uh, bringing your children up in, in a way of trying to teach them that public service is indeed an honorable and uh, legitimate way to make a living and to, uh, to live your life. Prize packages were awarded to the first, second, and third place winners in each age group during the ceremony which was held at the Houston Heights Public Library. Congrats to all the kids and thank you to all our generous sponsors who donated prizes and food. Well, I hope you enjoyed this month's wrap up. Make sure you like and subscribe to our videos. Until next time, I'm Lucha Morales and this is Houston Happenings.